Hello fellow traders, Richard here with another dose of uh, wave analysis. So just wanted to share with you guys my view on the Federal Reserve's um, uh, meeting and rate decision basically. So let's see, just a quick recap here. In the beginning of November, I saw this drop coming. And then right after that, in December, on, on December 12th, I actually made made this uh, this post um, following up on this L ending diagonal which was topping out from uh, at basically I actually mentioned that we could have a reversal right there at the 161.8 of uh, minute A and B to determine this C thus determining the minute red 2 okay so in other words those levels that, that Fibonacci extensions was also the 61.8 of um, minute one so there it went yeah it went on the downside now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna share with you guys my uh, my current view on the dollar index yeah so I'm on the two hour chart on the dollar index and what I'm seeing is basically a, a possible um, completion of this minute free which means that pretty soon I'm gonna be turning uh, my view towards the bullish side as a corrective not um, not final of course but the point is that what I wanted to share with you is that I called the uh, fall uh, since December I mean on December 12th on the Federal Reserve's uh, rate hike but of course we all know what happened so it started when uh, started going down yeah we have um, minuet one and two uh, black and then an extension in uh, minuet three, basically reaching Fibonacci extensions 100% of one and two red minute, and then the corrective, simple correction ABC in minuet four. Yeah. So then I said, okay, we must be going towards the 150% uh, 161.8 of this three and four black minuet so that would have been my uh, my actual target so I said okay we've we're going to 100% of three and four black yeah and right after that you know when we arrived uh, there uh, we started bouncing off right there so I mean started making a mess so then I said okay this is uh, not possibly turning into an impulse so there's more downside yeah so I basically even even right here I um, I actually noticed this fake breakout so I said okay we might be in an extension for the bearish fifth leg so I treated this as a free and then this four and then it went one two free extension now what's happening right here yeah I mean yesterday it wanted to I mean it spiked with this uh, with this move on the upside so I said okay let's see what it does I mean is this the reversal because normally let's say for instance from three and four sub minuet um, you know 100% would be a reasonable target for um, you know for support to be to be given yeah for for the end of sub minuet five so I said okay let's see let's see what it does yeah let, let me see let, let it prove to me that it's an impulse sorry guys okay so now basically uh, I saw this yeah and I wanted to see the other uh, the, the next the next moves and then it basically went in an ending diagonal so this is basically an ending diagonal for a C wave that's you know, confirming this uh, micro scale four so also confirming that there is more downside for this five okay for the micro five thus we will complete most likely we will complete sub minuet uh, blue five uh, minuet uh, black five and minute red three okay now Fibonacci um, Fibonacci projections basically extensions are uh, how I'm labeling this is basically from three and four I'm basically looking towards something lower than 200% okay I'm gonna go there okay don't worry but from um, one and two red my new scale I'm especially expecting this to be the bottom 261.8 for this for this free okay so we have it like this now from three and four I'm looking at this 
okay and as you can see multiple fibs align there with this 261.8 this golden ratio so let me walk you through basically what i'm what i'm actually seeing now you know my view guys i mean in regards to these fundamentals and all this you know the technicals will always be technical so the market will move according to what is destined to you know how what is this is anyway so we have a one two now what i'm expecting here is a drop yeah even though the fed rate decision is coming and by the way i'm not expecting any change they might be hawkish a little bit anyway we, we will see um adp you know for jobs in the private second states were okay and um is still <laughs> you can actually see that it's dropping right so <laughs> you guys can you guys can notice that the market would always do what it wants to do okay so um the way i'm seeing the way i'm seeing things is uh them not raising the rates yeah the feds not raising the rates but slightly let's say hawkish uh, in their speeches or whatever they will do uh, i don't really care about that guys just just to be honest with you uh, i prefer to take a look at the charts and to measure my waves fibs etc so straight to the point yeah the movement i mean i am expecting dollar index to bounce let's make this clear okay i am expecting it to bounce and possibly reach this level but i would actually see this level to be honest with you okay so even though it's 50 percent so i i drew i drew a, f uh, a fib line yeah let's say i'm gonna put it here so 50 percent is basically here so my minimum target would be this one yeah let's say for instance 91 91 on dollar index for a for a rise from 87.30 yeah so 80, 87.40 87.30 something like that the point is that if this thing drops yeah i would see it bouncing around like this by the way this vertical lines this was basically the adp so i'm just going to remove it because we see absolutely no movement on the contrary it went the opposite way yeah so um i see this dropping until the Federal Reserve rate decision, yeah. Uh, possibly dropping during, during it. We'll see. Yeah, gold is pretty much bullish. Euro USD is bullish. By the way, they're approaching, uh, in my personal opinion, a few, I mean, a few tops for a possible corrective, thus confirming this possible rise in the dollar. Yeah. And also USD, um, USD yen and USD CHF. Uh, I will turn my side towards the bullish. Uh, you know, I will turn my view on bullish very soon not long term but anyhow enough to put this on a on a corrective uh, pattern yeah so we'll see some versions on gold i'm pretty much i'm uh, pretty interested in seeing the corrective structure if i do see a zigzag on the on the gold structure i will be bullish for uh, the next let's say six months or something like that maybe a few months on gold yeah and on on silver as well so point is that euro usd gbp usd are reaching some tops uh, and consolidations expected not to mention the um, visible divergences there at the end of fifth waves usd swiss franc usd japanese yen um, are going to have a corrective a bullish corrective as well crude oil is interesting approaching a top so pretty much i'm uh, uh, I'm gonna sh uh, I'm gonna want to show it very soon. Anyhow, point is, yeah. Let me see, a quick level right there. I'm gonna be watching 68 level 69, yeah, on uh, on uh, WTI. So the way I'm seeing things, yeah, I'm not really seeing to, seeing things to move today, right? What I'm seeing things, to, uh, how I'm seeing things is starting with, I mean, starting with today, but most likely tomorrow on the ISM manufacturing PMI, yeah? So anyhow, the point is that I'm still waiting on this drop, okay? But when it will actually give me this drop, you, see, you can see this um, this oscillator here. This is a customized Elliott Wave oscillator, bull trading. Anyhow, point is that what I want to see is this on uh, on this chart yeah so i can i can confirm my divergence so i have a divergence here but also a secondary divergence as a double confirmation so once i have this divergence this will be confirmed so in other words yeah time is running out guys i'm on uh, 20 25 seconds <laughs> in, other, in other words um i'm awaiting this bullish divergence so i can sound the alarms and you know people closest to me can uh, can actually benefit from this yeah so keep an eye uh, keep an eye out guys the dollar could be 
reversing previous zones. So that's it. Uh, that's about it for now. See you next time.